Andrea Lindsley was working overnight, says a news producer reporter, when she started noticing some numbness. Thinking it was just a lack of sleep, soon she encountered other changes. Then I had trouble walking, and then my speech became so slurred it affected my job, and then I went blind in my right eye. At just 24 years old, Lindsley was diagnosed with MS, a neurological disease that disrupts communication between your brain and body. When I was diagnosed 28 years ago, there were no treatments to treat MS. Zero. I figured I would never work again. I would never get married, have kids, be able to travel. I really thought my life was over. But 28 years later, she's doing all those things, just in a different way. Lindsley has relapsing MS, so symptoms come and go. Sometimes she uses a cane and says every few years, she'll take some time off of work because she's unable to walk. But now there's treatments to help. Over the last 25 years, have had an explosion of new treatments, particularly for that more relapsing form of MS. Bruce Bebo helps work on those treatments at the National MS Society, research close to his heart as his mother was diagnosed with the disease. The life for someone diagnosed now compared to 25 years ago is so much better, and I'm really optimistic about you know what it's going to look like five or 10 years from now for people. Aside from treatments, doctors say positive support from friends and family and a healthy lifestyle can help those with MS. Taking care of yourself, getting good rest, exercise, eating well, all those things are also very important. Uh, I think exercise is very important. Something Lindsley fits in every day that she can. When I have good days, I walk. I walk this morning. I walk, walk, walk three miles every day. And I wish someone had said to me back then, you're going to be okay. And that's what I try to say to all new MS patients. So what are some things that you can be on the lookout for? Well, doctors say vision loss in one eye that progresses over time, numbness, tingling, weakness or balance issues, and fatigue. Now, if you'd like to learn more about MS or find out how you can donate to MS research, we actually have a link on our website to the National MS Society. You can find it right now at WSMV.com.